Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a beauty video. Today I would like to share with you my updated everyday makeup and especially for us women over 40 and busy mums, busy women in general. You may have seen my Get Ready With Me video. Well, things have changed since then. I think as we age, you have to find products that work with the the relaxing of the skin. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's life, we're all gonna get older. I will preserve it as much as I can. And if you wanna see that, check out my Botox videos on my YouTube channel. You know, it's just little tweaks. How we can make ourselves look a little bit fresher. I wanna say a little bit younger, but that's not the purpose. It's about how you feel about you and you being happy about how you feel. It all goes, if you don't have it within, you go without. So pretty much for the last 10 years, I would say I've been using tinted moisturizer. Light enough, but still it had a little bit of coverage and no powder on this face. Ladies, don't put powder on your face if you're over. At least, at least over 45, depending how you're aging. The more expression lines you have, the less powder you use. <laughs> so this Vita Liberata, the Beauty Blur. This is my new best friend. It's not a tinted moisturizer. It's not a BB cream. It is a skin tone optimizer. And I think if you've got pretty good skin, this should work for you. I was using the Latte through summer, and then I actually, I was a little bit like, oh, it looks a little bit too tanned. So I was mixing it with the Light Latte. And now, as we've come back to this lovely weather in London, I'm just using the Latte Light. When I use this, I tell you, I tell you the comments I get about my glow. Again, fingers, fingers, fingers. I don't use any of those things that the young girls use. So I'm like, you can see, I'm just putting it on like a moisturizer. Same sort of massage as I do. I'm just doing that, making sure I'm getting all of that. I'm gonna use a little bit more. I put it over the eyes as well. You can already see the glow up on the neck. Oh, the neck is just not working with me these days. <laughs> but I am 48 years young. A couple of years, I'm 50. Do you know what, it's just a number. It's how you feel in your heart and who you are as a person. You know, just be happy with that. Be happy with doing your best and being your best. I used to watch my mum do that. Ay, 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 ay. And I did that. And anyone that ever did one of my KLM courses will absolutely remember. <laughs> Just fixing my hair. Remember that little routine that I taught 20 years ago. Now, of course, they call it face yoga. <laughs> oh, it's funny how you do these things before they're actually anything. I think it's helped. I think all those exercises and those little massages I did helped. Oh my God, I forgot to put in my eye drops. I need to do it because I can feel the tiredness in my eyes. I use Optrex Bloodshot Red Eyes. I have been using them every day for 20 years. 30 years. <laughs> I do it every morning when I wake up and sometimes in the afternoon. I have had many pharmacists sort of query that or question that and I have, oh my God, touch wood, I have great eyesight. Nothing's happened for 30 years, so I'm sorry, I'm not listening. <laughs> I just put two little drops. Let's just top up over where the eye drops went there. And that's it. So I don't mix it with a uh, with a heavier foundation. I don't mix it with a tinted moisturizer. That is it. I still use my Touche Eclat. Eclat? 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 <laughs> I don't know how to say it properly, but you know that. I love this, always will. I have a few products that I just won't budge. It's a light reflector and I think it is brilliant under the eyes. Just lightens, lifts, reflects. Reflects away from that area. I was going to add a little bit of concealer around this area, but I don't think I need to today. Um, if you're interested, these are the two I use. Again, different shades, don't be afraid to mix them because your tone will change continuously depending what season you're in. And these are from Giorgio Armani. This is the exciting part, and I think this is really important for uh, a mature face. It's the Hollywood range, and you can buy them together with the contour brush. One is a, well, they call it the contour wand and this is the beauty light wand. 
I probably use it a little bit different to most people. What I don't want to do is put any powder on my face. I don't want to put powder as eyeshadow. I can still use a bit of bronzer because I haven't got a bunch of wrinkles down here. <laughs> but this is my trick for my eyes. So I'll give it a bit of a squeeze, there we go. And then lock it or else it will all come rushing out. What I'm doing with this, I'm keeping the lids natural because if I put this, it's quite dark, if I put it on my lids, it's gonna make my eye look smaller. I do have quite small eyes, so I wanna keep them looking a little larger. So I'm just putting, can you see that? You're thinking, oh my God, what is she doing? See just there? And then here, you're literally doing it under your cheekbone. I've, I've watched diff a number of different videos on where to put your contour. That's it. I'm literally just blending that in. So I'm gonna try and give myself a little bit of a fake cheekbone. Well, just, it just enhances it, right? So just doing through there. Then here, watch what I'm doing with the other end of the brush. These brushes are brilliant from Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love them. I'm going in the crease, just in the crease. And I'm not worrying about any of this just yet. Just blend it. So I'm putting a little bit of depth in there. I'm getting that color in there. But what I love, because it's a liquid, you don't have all this crepey skin. It's actually quite hydrating. Then we get the beauty light wand. We always need to keep up here near the brow light. You need to keep the eye open. There, I put a little bit there, there. Okay, up there, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Come back with the other brush. I just blend that, blend that in there. That's just giving the eyes a little bit of a sparkle inside. And it looks now just sort of blend them together. So that's the darker going into the lighter. It's really subtle, but enough to give you a little bit, can you see that, a little bit of depth? Highlighter, just on the cheeks. To be honest, I actually don't think I need the one on the cheeks because of my beauty blur, the Vita Liberata beauty blur. You see how you've just got that glow all over naturally? So you could totally avoid that, that one, but I love it on the eyes. And then just so we don't make those eyes run down, your eyeshadow should not run past there. Just make that really smooth, it's still really smooth and under the eye. I'm not putting brows on today because this isn't every day. Today I have, we're shooting all day, um, then I have a meeting and then I'm going to an event tonight. This will take me right through to tonight. I'll top up again on my lips. The event tonight is not, it's nothing glamorous, so my everyday makeup will carry me through. I've had a lash lift and I've had them tinted which is great to wake up and go to the gym and just always feeling a lot fresher. It does take five years off your life if you do it. I just convinced my girlfriend to do it. You know who you are. And the amount of comments that she has had and she's just like, thank you. I'm like, just listen to me, please. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that's my English accent. <laughs> I'm hanging around you too long, shoe. <laughs> it really does make a difference, just that little lift. There's no point doing all of this without finishing it with your mascara. Hair frames the face, eyebrows frame the eyes. Finish that. So to look at that right now, now wait until I put my mascara on, it just finishes the whole look. Now because I've had the lash lift, they are a little bit more tricky to work with because they're, they're going right up. So I, I still, same technique, go down. Remember my trick, can you see how my mascara is? Bend your mascara. At the base of my eyelash, I wanna keep that sort of thickness at the base of my eyelash, but I don't want it to be thick and cluggy going out to the end. So just separate and then to properly separate. I usually have a great little uh, mascara wand, but it's got too much stuff on it. So you don't want to put that onto your lashes. I'm just going to use my eyebrow brush, well, one that I don't use for my eyebrows. So I'm going to separate just on top. Come on, separate. So you can just see one eye done and one eye not. See what that does, it finishes the look. Don't worry about the mascara that you get on your eyelash lid. As I always say, just let it dry and then you go back with a cotton bud after. Then the thing I do at the end, which has been with me for a long time, 
and I still love to do it because I think it, even though you've got a little bit of contouring through here, what this does, it just lifts your face. It gives you that, oh, a little bit flustered, which is exactly how I feel right now. And a little smile and on the cheeks. So not too much, because you can always add more. Now, this is my latest find. In fact, it was a gift from a girlfriend who was over here from Australia. Thank you, Laura. She was absolutely obsessed with Trini, Trini London. Um, that's Trini from Trini and Susanna, the, the fashion show. She has her flagship store in Chelsea. And Laura went over and did the whole makeover and bought a bunch of products. And she came back with this. And I was really intrigued and loved it because it's for your lips, it's for your cheeks, it's for your eyes. I think her products are, all have multi-use which is really smart. So I look forward to trying a few more. This one is one that I really love because with my lips, I've got like a, I think a little freckle and a little scar. The, the, the color is very uneven. So even when I just put lip gloss on, it doesn't give me some sort of uh, base color. It just enhances what I've, what I've got. So this, just all I'm doing, just dab it on. And that tea, fast wear. I've totally evened out that, and it's really natural. The key for me is, because I, I don't like just that look, right? I always love a gloss, a gloss on the lip. Still using my Victoria's Secret satin gloss right at the very end of it. I need some more. As I just had my lip gloss. still got my gloss but I've got some color natural color to my lips without looking like I've got lipstick on um, because I don't like that unless I want to look like I'm wearing lipstick in that case it would be red so it's a really nice natural lip balm don't forget and you can dip it in water if you don't want to use your own saliva look at that just it's dry it comes off so easy boom off nice and clean make sure the other one any mascara just to make sure so my fingers haven't been on it or anything just make sure that's all blended nicely that that contouring sort of eyeshadow and that is my new everyday makeup so i think the key factors here for over 40 over 45 heading to 50 if you are starting to see that your powder is really holding to any of your lines around your eyes or if this is starting to crepe a lot more do not put powder on it because you're going to accentuate it and it's going to look you're going to draw attention to it which is not what we want so using a light liquid hence the you know it's a contour wand but it works perfectly here and I love the texture it's light enough and it doesn't sink into the creases, so it gets all, it doesn't get all dewy. Using a cream on the eyes, doing a little bit of contouring. This is my new best friend, the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. That gives you that glow. And you'll see it in, in most of my photos now. It's just this natural glow. So it really is a simple everyday makeup that is that works well for our sort of age group. And as I said, this will take me through to tonight to the event. I'm not putting any eyeliner or mascara under my eyes. I'm keeping that very neutral. I think it makes you look a bit younger. I think we put too much under there. It just draws to all of that area there. Anyway, but you do what works for your face. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've got a few new tips out of it. I remember I do lots of videos on beauty. In fact, I'm doing so many videos on beauty right now and I really love them. But I also love my paleo videos. So if you wanna see some recipes that are really simple and easy to do in the kitchen, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up and switch on your notification bell if you wanna be notified when a new video comes out. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome to... <laughs> it's been a while.